What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, PS4 Streams. Welcome to the show. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Here today, we got the most iconic PSP game. Honestly, this music brings me back. It really does. This is one of the most nostalgic PSP tones out there. Today, I'm going to be talking about best Grand Theft Autos to play on PSP. There's only three of them, as far as I know, unless you go down to the PS1. But the actual ones you can get for PSP, I'm going to be going through all three of them in order as they were released. or And that's actually the order I find them on most fun, believe it or not. So, first off, we got good old Liberty City Stories. If you ain't never played Liberty City Stories, this is uh, a must play right here. Definitely. We got your boy right here, just fresh off of the bus. Now he's ready to go work for the mob. Man, you gotta love old school. Hey, hey, hey. So there he is. There he is. So listen, Tony. It's your boy you Tony, man. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and skip that. I'm going to leave that up for you guys to talk, try out if you've never tried yeah, it nice or if you've seen it. This game's this more than 10 years old by now. So. We'll hit first. This one reminds me of the same one for PlayStation 2. Is this the same one for PlayStation 2? Because I know Grand Theft Auto 3 came out for PlayStation 2 and it's in Liberty City as well, right? I have, I have, I think it might be a little bit different, but it feels almost exactly the same. Believe it or not, this was one of those games that revolutionized handheld gaming for me. I mean, I never knew that handheld gaming would get so good when I, when I saw a portable PS2 pretty much. I was absolutely flabbergasted. And actually, the missions on this game are really fun, man. They're, it's a really good game. If you, this is definitely a 10 out of 10. The, the physics are good. There's a good amount of cars. Um, it's pretty damn fun. Um, if you ever played Grand Theft Auto 3, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. It, it's a big upgrade from Grand Theft Auto 2, which came out for the PlayStation 1. But yeah, check this out. We'll just do a little drifting real quick. Oh, sorry. I really like that you could be burnouts like this. Oh. Uh, let's go. Boom. What was that? Was that a Faggio? Yo, check it out, guys. They even got the Faggio. There it is. Right there. All right, so... I got. I gotta take my boy. He's waiting for me the whole time. He's in the back seat. I gotta take him to the first mission. We gotta go to the yellow mark. Oh, they're fighting, bro. What was that all about? That's why I love this game. You'll see a bunch of random shit on this game. Last time I saw a cop beating some random guys out for no reason on this game. Look at this guy. He's just punching everyone. Uh, I guess he stopped fighting. All right, let's go. I fucking love this game, dude. And then the radio is fucking hilarious, guys. If you if you listen to all the different radio stations you switch to are hilarious. Absolute bangers. I really like fighting people just to just getting off and beating people's asses. The crazy thing about this one as well, that's really good. Watch, I got I gotta get arrested or some shit. I gotta get busted. So I can end up next to a police station. Oh, I'm getting jumped by twins! What's up, twins? Oh, this dude's in the middle. Hey, oh, he's ca he's ca oh, shit, he's catching the blows. Oh, he ran away. He hit an old lady. You hit an old lady, man. Hey, hey. Where the hell are the cops at when you need them, man? Where the cops at? I'm trying to get the cops called on me, bro. Bro. How many people do I got to kill, man? That's one thing about this game. The AI is stupid as fuck. Like, you can do something in front of the cops sometimes and don't give a fuck. Like, it's hard to get a cop on you, man. Even when you're doing something crazy, sometimes the cops don't even give a shit. 
on all the new modern Grand Theft Autos, you, you kill like one person and then you already, you already got cops called on you. How many people do I have to murder? Uh, it won't stop. It just doesn't stop. Come on, home. I, I gotta get fucking pulled over. I wanted to show you that. Yeah, maybe it's not doing it because I'm on the first mission, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a glitch or something like that that Rockstar added, maybe, to get you to actually do some progress. That could be it. Because honestly, this is a little bit insane. I'm about to jack an ambulance. If this doesn't get the cops called on me, no, it's not. I, I really like how you can do like ambulance missions and shit like that as well. You can do different missions if you want. I would have to abandon that mission though. I, yeah, I think I, I don't think I could do shit right now because I'm on that mission. I have to take that one, my boss or whatever. I remember there was a way to activate motherfucking um. Like, you can become an ambulance and take people. You can go out on a bus and become a bus driver. On GTA, you can even do cop missions. If you get in a cop car, you can become a cop and stuff like that. If you become a, if you get inside of a taxi, you can become a taxi driver. You can pick up prostitutes and all that cool stuff. But yeah, I, I always thought these were BMWs. I really like these ones. I always drove these ones and they always drove pretty sick. I always thought they were like the old school BMWs. I'll be hauling ass too. I left my boss in the dust. I'll, I'll be right back, boss. Just a quick pick stop. Oh, I lost control, but I regained conscious. Regain. But yeah, that's why GTA 3. You gotta play this, man. It's just so fun, bro. 10 out of 10, like I said. But there's an even better one. Number 2. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Stories. This is another iconic game for me as well. Um, if it does anything better, it does actually everything better that the one we just played did. How? Has a better story, better vibes. This actually takes place in Miami. I believe the other one was like in New York or something. So this is more of a chill setting. Um, you got some luxury cars and stuff like that on this one instead of old school muscle cars. You got more of um, like Ferraris and Vipers and instead of like Mustangs and Camaros like on the original one, this one has more uh, sporty cars and old school race race looking things, bro. It's, it is fire. And the music is also um, a different vibe. You see what I'm talking about. Either way, it's a really great story. Better guns, a better missions as well. And we'll get into a couple other things as well. This does a little differently and better than number three. Listen, if plans change, I'll let you know. All right, bro. So we actually a different character now, bro. Where is this dude right now? We, we got to escape, bro. We're going to escape. We're going to escape the base, bro. Oh, 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 oh. I, I ain't trying to get copyrighted, so I'm going to um, change the radio station off, okay, guys? But, yeah, it's some good good music, for sure. I really wish I could put on the music on here, but you guys just got to trust me. It has some bangers, especially that one from the A Flock of Seagulls that uh, I ran so far away. That's my favorite, bro. It just makes me want to drive fast down these intersections and then do a wheelie. Do a wheelie. Oh, what is that? Corvette? I need that. It's a baby blue Corvette. Hey, homie. Um, that thing's looking nice. Yo, there's a Jeep behind me. Legit, but I need this. Like I said, there's better cars on this one that are faster. And you can swim on this one. You don't die right away. That's a plus. So you can swim on different item, islands without having to fucking exploit like on the other one. You, you, had, you had to jump like this. And if you jumped in the water, you would automatically drown. But yeah, that's this one also it plays a little bit smoother, less janky. It feels really good, honestly. You guys definitely got to play 
this one. This this might even, this might even be one a lot of people's favorites. And this is very debatable, guys. What's better, this one or the next one I'm about to show you guys? Let's get right into it. But this one is probably about an 11 out of 10. Very classic. All right, guys. I saved one of the best for last. This game is very clever in the way it utilizes its graphics to its full extent. I really like how it pays homage to the original Grand Theft Auto 2 because it goes back to the top-down perspective that we uh that we're used to, you know what I'm saying? That we first were introduced to back in the original Grand Theft Autos. And that's why I can respect this one because it it combines the old school with the modern. And they do a hell of a fucking great job. That's what I'm gonna say. Look, you can do the peeling out. And then when the really the thing I like about that when you peel out, you have fire on your Oh shit hit a cop! Oh and this is what's crazy about this one guys. This is look at so if you're good enough, you can make a cop crash, and if you make a cop crash, they'll die. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I got a, I got a juke a cop pretty much. Oh, see, he just crashed and died. We all saw that, right? As people might not really like this kind of style, but I will say that they really utilize this to the best potential that they really could. The missions on this are absolutely fun, insane, and you can also swim on this one, and there is a variety of different move, um, different um, mini games, even like filling up gas and freaking making your own Molotovs and throwing them at people. You have got to play this one, guys. This is a classic. And plus, yeah, so this one he's in Chinatown, as you can, if you, you didn't know, it's called GTA Chinatown. And I really like this one because this guy has moves. Look at that shit. He, he he does a one two he does a one two punch kick, punch 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 kick. Does a roundhouse and then knocks him. There's some really good sound effects and they they really um, put love into this. Also came out on Nintendo DS, so it's really good. Honestly, for a Grand Theft Auto game, it's just as good as any other Grand Theft Auto. Game. Just as funny, has just as much missions. It even has. You just saw that. I just this is a rampage right here. I'm on a rampage. I have to. Oh, I got a shotgun rampage. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not, how do I aim at him? What the fuck? I can't aim at these dudes. Are they with me? Are they with me? Oh, they're with me. I'm getting a chain. Why am I just getting bikers? I don't know if you can get the dildo on this one. I know you can get the dildo on the original one for PSP if you go inside the, the police station. If you go inside the police station on number three, you'll find a purple dildo. I'm not even lying. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make a, a short about that. Um, so subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the short. I'll try to find the purple dildo and uh. Oh, and upload it. Hey, is this a Viper? I gotta get that. Hey, my boy, that's like a Viper. Or a Oh, he saw me jack that. See ya. Let's go just show you guys real quick how... The oh, God, what was that? Did my engine fly out of the car, or did I just... Damn, that cop almost got me. The cops are really good and smart on this one, actually. Like, this one, the AI is really good. Way more than number three. But if you prefer, you know, um, an actual 3D world instead of a top view, top bird's eye view, if you, pick, if you prefer more of a third person view. Oh, shit, it's going to explode. I want to see it explode. I just don't want to be too close to it. Oh, that was damage. Now another one's going to explode. Chain reaction. Oh, there's the K. I gotta get I gotta get away, right? Or can I just go in there? Oh, I just went in the noodle shop. Let's go. Alright. Oh yeah, and also instead of like you know, there's cut scenes on number two and number three or number three and Vice and Vice City. Both of them have cutscenes, but this ones are more of a storybook storybook. See right here, you have to read it. He's not happy. So really like also, yeah, how how it has this little system right here. I didn't even show you guys this. This system, 
it shows you your stats and you can see all your progress. I, I barely started. I'm barely 1% done with the game. How many missions, you, how many failed missions, days passed in the game. See, I'm times cheated. What? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. That's one thing I forgot to mention on Grand Theft Auto games, especially the first two I showed you guys, Vice City and there's like different codes. If you know how it's like square, square, up, up, down, down, left, right, L, R, L, R, or some shit like that. I don't know. I really don't know the codes. I'm just guessing. That was just an example. If you Google all the codes, you'll be able to get like infinite health, infinite cheats, infinite money. These games are very easy to cheat on with just some button combinations if you're good enough. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not good enough. The fucking. You have a music player? What the fuck? That's sick. That's crazy. You don't even have to be in a car to listen to music in this one. Holy shit. I don't even know that. So you're learning something, I'm learning something new. That's cool. I could just start putting here and vibe out, you know what I'm saying? Go to different Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto has always had great... Dead Mouse has a radio station and what the heck? That is crazy. Point of interest. Candy's house. Press start to exit. So now it says drive to Kenny's house. All right, let's go. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Which three games should I do or which game you would like to see me play next, all right? Let's just see what Kenny, who Kenny is. Who the fuck are you doing in Kenny's car? Who the fuck are you? Obviously, you commit a crime, you'll get a wanted level. The more stars you have, the more cops you'll have chasing you pretty much you can disable pursuing cop cars by causing them to crash see this is what i told you guys it's explaining that as you shake off cop cars the wanted levels will dim see that that's why this game is a little bit more innovative than the other ones because yeah it's a lot funner to shake off cops that's for sure i give them that and there's a bunch of other cool things like little mini games and stuff in the missions where you're playing so go ahead and try that out. And also they have this for DS. Oh shit, am I trying to run from the cops? Um, let's shake them off. Fuck it. I, I gotta, I gotta shake them off. I, I, it's like I was telling you, you can't just stop playing this game. It's addicting. Let's shake them off in Kenny's whip. Oh, they were gonna hit, but they didn't hit hard. I'm not shaking them. Oh, yo, that was bad for that cop. Oh, that cop hit. Oh, shit, that cop was in the middle of the road. Shit, I'm getting shot at. Cop cars are starting to dim. I'm starting to get away. Move. Oh, shit. I'm, I fucking, I'm, I'm almost exploding. A couple more crashes and it's over for me. Oh, no, that's not looking good for Kenny's car. I, I was not looking good for Kenny's car, guys. Oh, no. Kenny's car is going to explode any second. Oh, yes. Can I get away? I got away. <gasps> I fucking did it. Let's go. Oh, shit. I'm it says, sick moves. Come on. Let's get out of here. I'm, I'm going to just sit here and play this game very slow till I make it to Kenny's house, okay? I'll catch you guys on the next. 